So it's clear that immune checkpoint blockade has become kind of standard of care across a, a lot of different cancer types. But a lot of patients, and, and the majority of cancers, most patients, don't really respond. And, and of course, we're still learning about the mechanisms of resistance, and at this conference, I think we'll, we'll learn a lot from a number of different labs. Uh, but two of the big ones that have emerged are a lack of inflammation in the tumor microenvironment and a lack of MHC class 1 uh, presentation of antigens. And there aren't really good validated drug targets that have been clinically successful in overcoming these forms of resistance. And so uh, our work has focused on the identification of new drug targets for combination immunotherapy, and particularly on uh, the strategy to overcome the non-inflamed tumor microenvironment and the loss of antigen presentation. And the way we, we've gone about this is we used functional genomics, CRISPR and Cas9, uh, to identify a number of drug targets, and then we honed on on those that, that had the strongest signal. And one of the strongest of these is this gene called ADAR1. Uh, ADAR is a adenosine deaminase that acts on double-stranded RNA. Uh, its main role is thought to be to take endogenously produced double-stranded RNA that has the potential to trigger host nucleic acid sensors and antiviral immunity and to detoxify it, and thereby to avoid autoimmunity. And accordingly, there are actually rare autoimmune diseases that are associated with biallelic mutations in the catalytic domain of ADAR1. However, um, we think that in tumors, ADAR1 is acting to restrain sensing of double-stranded RNA that otherwise could create inflammation in the tumor microenvironment and help responses to immune checkpoint blockade. And so we did a, a number of studies in mouse models to show that this was true, taking tumor microenvironments that were non-inflamed and deleting ADAR1 using CRISPR and Cas9, showing that you could get inflammation in the tumor microenvironment that you could get better responses to immune checkpoint blockade with antibodies targeting PD-1, and that you could overcome other defined mechanisms of resistance that we're seeing clinically, including the loss of class 1 MHC on tumor cells. Um, for that latter model, we, we deleted class 1 MHC entirely from tumor cells and then tested the loss of ADAR1 in that model. And, and we could show that you get, the, you get a loss of any response to immunotherapy by getting rid of class 1 MHC in normal tumors, but that when you delete ADAR1, you can still get responses and even cures to tumors. And so this has been really interesting for us because most of us have an implicit model that you need class 1 MHC to get responses by CD8 T cells, cytotoxic T cells, to kill the tumor when you use checkpoint blockade. And it's clear from our model that uh, that's not always the case. And so there are a lot of interesting questions to explore uh, surrounding that. 